Joseph Royer was the city's most respected architect, born and raised in Urbana and trained at the University of Illinois. As he walked up and down the streets of his hometown, he could see his work in every part of town, and his Champaign County Courthouse was widely praised for its grandeur. But when he decided to build his own home in 1905, unlike his other jobs, the only client to please was himself. What architectural style expressed his tastes? Well, there was one other important client, his wife Adelaide, whom he married in 1902. She was a wonderfully creative writer, a poet, and interior designer who worked with Joseph on several projects. For their new home, Joseph and Adelaide chose the Mission style, more typically found in the southwestern United States. It is believed that Royer was inspired after seeing the California building at the 1904 World's Fair in St. Louis, which in turn was a replica of an old Franciscan mission in Santa Barbara, California. It was, in some ways, a counterpart to the colonial revival movement found in the eastern United States in the early 20th century. The Stiles revival grew from an awareness that the actual historic missions were fading into ruins but it also came from a sense of regional pride. As California architect Felix Ray wrote in his tribute to the mission style, give me neither Romanesque nor Gothic, much less Italian Renaissance, and least of all English colonial. This is California, give me mission. From this inspiration, Royer took the smooth stucco walls and the complex roof made up of intersecting cross gables and covered in red clay tiles. Taking a note from the arts and crafts style of architecture popular at that time, the roof has overhanging eaves with exposed rafters underneath. Keeping with the earthy color palette of the mission style, there are a variety of different window shapes and sizes, all trimmed with red painted wood. And notice the red wood shingle covered dormers. The charming and airy side porch on the east side of the building repeats the themes with its stucco finish and red tile roof with large, squat, rounded arches as openings to the porch. Inside, Adelaide's sister, artist Nell Brooker Mayhew, painted beautiful murals of windswept landscapes on the walls. Even as they moved into the house, Joseph's career was taking a new direction as he left his position as city engineer and established his own architecture firm. He would go on to design many other Urbana landmarks, including the Lincoln Hotel, the Urbana Free Library, and the Urbana High School, among others. Joseph and Adelaide Royer lived here until their deaths in 1954.